guys and welcome to the second Geek Tool tutorial. Today we're going to be focusing on the weather. So this is going to be a group of commands that allows to make a group of geeklets to display various information about the weather. So let's get started. Here's the command we'll be using to find out the current weather. So as you can see it says code of your current location here. So we need to find that out. So to find that out we'll be using Yahoo Weather. So if we open this up and I'm going to be using London. So this is displayed now. Now we need to find out the RSS for this. So if we click on 10 day forecast it will load this up and then I'll just simply click on the RSS feed. Now we'll just wait for this to load and as you can see it's not come up with anything, but we're still being given the code here, and this is the important part. So if we just copy this, and then I'll just paste it into the command here, so where it says code, we don't want the brackets, sorry about that. We don't want the brackets here, so I'll just get rid of the brackets and paste. Now all we do is simply copy this, copy and we will paste it into Geek Tool. Now I'll open the YouTube um, group so that we can see what we're doing. So if I open YouTube, now we've got this command pasted so we just simply drag out a shell wait for it to load and in the command we'll paste the command that we copied now enter and there we are refresh every 10 seconds let's just say and make it just a different font I'll use marker filters that's what we used last tutorial just to keep it more uniform so just there that'll do for the moment so if use that and then that's the current weather now we can drag this around as we did last time and position it where we like I'll just have it in this bottom corner now the next command that we're going to learn is comparison of tomorrow's weather and today's weather. No, sorry about that. It's yesterday's weather. So, for this we use a different website. We use a website called Wonderground. And we need to paste the full URL for this. So, if I open Wonderground and enter a location, I'll enter London again. Sorry about that. And I'll just search it. It asks us to clarify which one. There's only one, really one here, but it still asks us. So here we are. Now we just simply copy the URL. Copy the URL and we'll paste it into our command again. So, URL for your place. Delete that and replace it for our URL. Now if we copy this and again we will just simply drag it in to a shell and paste the command. So just drag a shell and paste the command. 
and we want to refresh every 10 seconds. Now, if we want this bigger, like we probably will, marker felt 36. Oh, let's just have 48 and white so that we can see it because especially with this background can't see it much as you'll see it's bigger than the box but we can simply just change that by dragging the arrows so I'll drag this to my location that I want it and just drag the arrows to expand so there we are. Now you might find that you'll come onto it and a bit's cut off because sometimes the text can be longer on some days than others so you might have to expand it then. So the final thing that we're going to be going over is getting a picture of the weather. Now this is fairly simple we need to use weather underground again for that. So we'll just open that up and now you can either go on local weather and stickers to select it and that's what I'll do or on the previous page that we're on when you search a location you can just click get a stick for that so what we need to do here is we'll just put in London again enter now we get a big selection of all these we can either we get a few options what do we want it in we'll just have it in metric and we get all these stickers here so we can design some of them in some ways but then once you've got what you like I quite like this one you just right mouse click on it and click copy image address now what we simply do here is we'll drag an image shell in just wait for it to load. We drag an image shell in and then in the URL section we just paste the image location. Now there we are. Now we can refresh every 10 seconds like normal like we have done before and now you can expand it but when it gets to a certain size it won't get bigger anymore. So there's no point going any bigger there. So there we are. These are the three basic things. Now the copy image address that we used before to get this image can work on other things as well. For example, if I go to the home of weather, for England I get this map and if I wanted the full map I could just copy image address here and do exactly the same as I did before. So you can just look around and find the images that you like and then they should auto update depending on where you've got them from so you'll just have to check that but that's simply how you can just get so with these you can just change to your liking and now this expands as I pull and I can just slot it in there if I wished so these are the weather commands that the basic weather commands just to give you good information about the temperature and just to make your desktop look nice. So that's today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and please like and subscribe as it does help. And thank you for watching.